What's up guys, this is Matt, and today I'm going to be starting, I'm very excited, we're going to be playing some DOS games today, and I'm going to be kicking it off with uh, one of my personal favorites from uh, when I was younger called Hugo's House of Horrors. Um, this is the first game in the Hugo series, I believe there are three of them, uh, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure, I, I probably should have done a little bit more research before I started, but I found the games, uh, they were, they're uh, freeware now, or maybe old share where I don't know how they are, uh, what, what format they are, but, um, I, I just found them. And so I, I downloaded a couple of them and I'm going to start playing these. I don't know how many tries it's going to take. Um, obviously if it starts taking me too many, too many tries, I'll just stop and I'll try to move on to the next game. I doubt I'm going to make them all in a uh, one playthrough, but you learn with your mistakes. Um, now particular for the Hugo series, it remind it's, it's an old, like a text based, game. I guess that's, it's, it's really mostly a text-based game. There are graphics. You could walk around as Hugo. You are the hero of this, of this particular game, but everything that's done besides moving him with the arrow keys, you have to type. If you want to pick something up, you have to type in, pick up, and then, you know, fill in the blank. Um, if you're talking to someone, you have to type what you're saying. And so it takes a little bit of creativity. It could also be quite frustrating when you're typing in commands that um, the original programmers did not um, plan for. And often you'll get a response like, uh, I don't understand what you're saying, or we don't understand this command. And that can be quite frustrating, but it does um, broaden your imagination. It probably also help, makes you dig into your vocabulary a little bit more and maybe think of other ways to uh, phrase the same command or the same question. And so without dragging this out any longer, this is uh, just my introduction for this first game, and I'm going to jump right into it. So I hope you guys are excited. All right, guys, and here is Hugo. Uh, you see our hero here in the blue shirt um, in the bottom of the screen. And... Um, you, you hear a couple things, obviously some of that beautiful 8-bit music that you everyone grew up listening to, or I grew up listening to. And this is the House of Horrors, um, as the first chapter in Hugo's life, or, you know, Hugo's story, takes its name. Um, you'll see at the bottom, there is a, I, I don't know what you would want to call that, I guess a less than symbol, or be a greater than symbol. And um, that's where you will type in commands, as you can see here. And I'm going to move uh, Hugo around with the arrows. You can pretty much, you know, just the four directions. And you'll see a score there. Uh, zero out of nine, so I haven't gotten anything yet. And uh, I'll try to open this door here. Open door. It is locked. Um, unlock door? You don't have the key. Okay, where's the key? Um, enter window? Apparently our hero either doesn't understand what you mean or doesn't think that would be very useful. Um, now, yeah, I, I was saying this in the introduction a little bit. You're, you're not always sh positive of uh, what's going to happen. And they don't always understand the commands, but I suppose enter window is as um, simple as I could have put it, so I guess we cannot go in the window. Uh, can I take that light bulb? Take light bulb. Nope. Why is that pumpkin a weird color? It should be orange. Can I uh, pick up pumpkin? You're not close enough. Pick up pumpkin. Okay. Great. Now what do I do? Can I open the pumpkin? Maybe. Oh, maybe the key's inside the pumpkin. Hey, the pumpkin breaks open to reveal a key. Um, oh, there it is on the ground. So pick up key. And now I bet we can unlock this door. Unlock door. Oh, okay. I guess I got to open the door. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's not creepy. Who's that guy? Should we follow him? Oh, uh, yeah, why not? Let's let's follow the old guy up at the top of the stairs here. We'll head all the way to the right. Let's see what happens.
Ooh, the mad professor speaks. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you, all over the house for you. Look, you're late and we haven't much time. Step into the box and we'll begin the experiment. The professor beckons you to step into the large cubicle in the center of the room. Okay. Oh, dang, I can't move. Good, says the professor. Okay, Igor, put, press the blue button. Igor grumbles something incoherent and definitely presses the red button. Oh, come on. You idiot, Igor, roars the professor. That's all I need, a colorblind imbecile for an assistant. Oh dear, I've got my headache coming on again. I've had enough hassle for one day. I'm going to have a lie down. The professor storms off, leaving you alone with Igor. Ah. Oh. All right. Um. Great. I don't know where to go now. What's what's going on in here? Hi, Igor. Can I talk to him? Try walking there. I'm right next to Igor. Hi, Igor. All right, that's stupid. Um, I can't go behind the box. Let me see if I could press the blue button. I think you'd better leave that to Igor. Why? He's the one that screwed it up in the first place. Um, can I close this door? Close door. The door to the professor's box can only be opened and closed by the machine. Okay. Oh, I'm behind it. Uh, search table. Apparently, uh, take item? I don't know what's on the table. Take item. Okay. I don't know what to do now. Um, okay, so I'm behind the glass door of this cubicle, and we need to figure out what's on this table. There's probably very important, uh, items, tools. Um, maybe, oh, maybe just take tool, pick up tool, pick up item, look at table. Oh, the only thing you recognize is a useful looking rubber bung. Okay, so pick up rubber bung you're not close enough oh my goodness pick up rubber bung okay there we go i don't know what i needed that for but um what did the professor say uh igor press the was it the blue the blue button Igor definitely presses the yellow button. Oh, okay, so I'm on to the right track here, I guess. Oh, I'm normal. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm, I'm getting dizzy. Too bad in your current state you can't coordinate your hand to turn the door handle. All right, so, oh, oh, I'm going to get sick. All right, um, Igor, go back, press the blue button he definitely presses the green button oh my goodness this guy's an idiot ew oh my god oh my god i'm all cut up look you can see through me probably won't let me leave with this either too bad in your current state you can't grip the door handle to open it all right chances are one more time will be the charm igor press the blue button Ah, Igor definitely presses the blue button. All right. Awesome. 
I'm getting out of here before he shrinks me again. Let's try this door. Oh. Open door. I'm so used to just using the keyboard to do things. I actually have to type. Um, look at bathtub. You see nothing very interesting about it. Okay. How about look at... How do you spell toilet? There we go. I'd rather not, thanks. How about, can I use the toilet? <laughs> Apparently our hero doesn't understand. Alright. Um... Look out window. It's pretty dark out there. You can just make out the outline of a shed below. And amongst some trees. Alright, well we could probably go outside to the shed. If we could, uh, we'll be able to find our way through, I'm sure. Um, look at, how do you spell mirror? There appears to be something daubed. Dubbed? I don't know. On the mirror in red. It looks like the number 333. Alright. I feel like I should write that down. It's going to be important eventually. Um, what's going on here? Let's open this door. Enter. Ah! Oh, it's a bedroom. Look under bed. You get down on your hands and knees and peer under the bed to find absolutely nothing. Look on bed. Oh, same thing. Can I open this? Open door. It opens! What is that? Look. I can see no more than you can see at this moment. Look in closet? Pick up. I don't know what that is. Pick up a head. Uh, search closet. Maybe it's a, like a a hat. Pick up hat. Pick up mask. Oh, it was a mask. There we go. So I picked up the mask. Um, little does that do me right now um all right those paintings are creepy all right let's see maybe we could pick up that candle i don't know what the candle is going to do can i look under the stairs look under stairs what do you mean you don't peek under stairs uh okay pick up candle ah haha -ha, i did it um look under staircase crawl under staircase okay there would not be a black hole in the side of the staircase if i couldn't actually go into it come on look under stairs Peek at hole below stairs. <laughs> Look beneath the stairs. Oh! Oh no, there's some rooms upstairs. Okay, I give up. That's enough of that. Um, Now what? I don't know what to do. Let's go back here, I guess. Ah! A kitchen. Okay. Now what? Let's open. Let's just like open. Open cabinet. You find nothing of interest inside. Alright, how about over here? Open cabinet. See, the, the whole text-based thing with this game reminds me of like uh, Zork and other text-based uh, adventure games. But this ha is different just because it's very proximity based it knows it knows where you are and if i'm it's really weird uh open stove oh open oven i don't know why i called it a stove nothing of interest all right well there's a window on that wall so i bet that's the outside aha oh i can't even leave this stupid path 
So I gotta go all the way around the tree that's colored the same as the walkway. That's weird. All right, open door. There appear it appears to be locked with a combination lock. What's the combination? Oh. Um. What was, what was on the the mirror? The the numbers. Uh, three. Oh, I can't use the numpad. Three, three, three. Bingo! The door opens. Awesome. What's in here? I don't see anything in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, search shed. Look. How about just look around? The shed seems to have fallen into disuse and is pretty much full of garbage, either broken or rusted pieces. You are just on the point of leaving when you notice an oil can sitting on a shelf. Okay, take oil can. You're not close enough. I don't know where the shelf is. Take oil can. Okay. All right, now I have an oil can. Um, I'm going to be honest. I still don't even know what I'm collecting these items for. But uh, <laughs> I guess I'll I guess I'll find out eventually. I'm I'm just assuming I have to go back inside. I really this is interesting. Let's go, uh, Hugo. Come on, there's got to be something in the kitchen. Um, let's let's see. Oh, a dog. What? Oh dear! It seems the nice doggy has eaten you all up. You'll never get to rescue Penelope this way. You have to be kidding me! I'm dead? Because I walked into a room? Ugh. Alright, well, I guess um, that'll be the first attempt that I'll... I. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll stop the video here. Why not? Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I, I used to love this game. I cannot remember for the life of me what to do. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that was embarrassing. Uh, yeah, so... Can I just start over? I'm dead. Let me see what happens. I'm just going to lay there. That's it. <laughs> Hugo is dead. Wake up. I'm afraid all you can do at this point is restore. Oh, you can save the game? Quit. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um... I'll come back. We'll try it again. We'll see how far we can get. There's also, like I said, I believe there's two other Hugo games. We'll see how far we can get with each one of them. Um, I hope you enjoy this type of game. Uh, if not, I'm sorry because I love it. <laughs> uh, no, but really, I hope it brings back some memories. And, oh, look, it says it right here. Don't forget to order the Hugo Trilogy and receive Hugo's House of Horrors, Hugo 2, Who Done It and Hugo 3 Jungle of Doom. All right, so we will be playing all three of those games um, very shortly. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned, and until next time.